Hey everyone, welcome to this Tower TV buying guide. Now, today we're going to be talking about chargers, and not just any charger, we're talking about the Hi-Tech RDX2 Mini. Uh, this is a new charger from Hi-Tech, a couple cool new features uh, involved in the charger, so we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing and kind of talk about what new features come in this charger. All right, so first things first, let's get this sucker out of the box. So you're going to open the box up from the bottom, actually. A uh, little safety flap here. I believe this comes taped when it, uh, when it comes shipped to you. I just already opened it and kind of played with the charger a little bit, so I knew what was going on. Uh, so first, right off the bat, a manual. recommend you read this so you can learn about all the features um, that I didn't mention in this video, even though we're going to go over most of them. Uh, this will teach you a little bit more about the charger. I uh, got a power cord, pretty long power cord actually, and then I believe down here is the two charge cords. So this is a XT90 to Dean's charge cords, uh, pretty universal plugs in my opinion. And then the charger, Ooh, maybe, there it is. Now we're going to throw the box over to the side and get this guy out of the box, out of the plastic wrap. All right. So there is a warning label that comes over that LCD screen, but I already took it off because, like I said, I played with the charger already. So first things first, pretty small, nice and compact. Uh, as you can tell, there's balance boards uh, interlocked or sunk in on the charger. Uh, that goes up to a 4S LiPo. So right off the bat, I'm going to let you know you can only charge up to a 4S LiPo on this. Not a huge killer. That's probably the most popular range of batteries between 2S and 4S is probably the most popular range of uh, LiPo batteries in my opinion. So not a big deal there. Uh, so we're going to get this screen powered up so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about and we'll go over a little bit of the functions involved inside the charger. Alright, so now that I moved you in a little bit closer we're going to go over some of the settings inside the charger here. Uh, we're just going to run through the menu really quick so you can see what type of batteries is charged. So you got five easy buttons here, button down here by my middle finger, that's just to switch the charge channels. So it is a two port charger, you got your B port and your A port. So we're just going to start off on our A port here. Uh, as you can see this red light is lit up to show us that we're on our A port. Uh, down here you have your XT90 plug and then your four cell balance lead here, your negative and then one through four cell. So we're going to run through kind of the uh, programming that you can do in this charger. So right off the bat, you can charge a LiPo battery, a Life E battery, a Lion battery, and a LiPo HV battery. So that's all of the lithium polymer uh, cells that you can charge on the charger, which is honestly a lot. Uh, you can charge the main four. Uh, I don't know that there's any out there that are uh, a little bit different in the lithium polymer uh, cell range. And then you can charge a nickel metal pack and a NICAD pack. So those packs aren't around very much anymore, but if you still have them, you can still charge them on this charger here. So next we've got a, oh yeah, and then a PB battery. Uh, you can charge that as well, forgot about that one. So next is a battery meter. So we're going to go ahead and select on this here. So we're going to click start or enter. Now this will give you a voltage readout for your lithium polymer cells. So anything that's got a balance lead like a LiPo or a LiPo HV, a Lion, you can plug into the channel balance port right here and it'll give you the voltage readout of each individual cell. And then I believe if we click the increase button, it'll give you the main uh, voltage level. So what the overall voltage is and then the highest voltage and the lowest voltage over here. So that's a pretty cool option on here. Essentially, it's a cell checker without uh, having to start the battery from charging so you can see what it's reading at. Uh, so we'll go back to that main menu and then just to go back to the menu, you click uh, stop here and that'll bring you back to what you had previously. So we're going to keep thumbing through this menu here. Uh, so battery resistance. This is a cool thing with this charger. So a lot of the racers out there care about the IRs in their battery or the internal resistance. So this is a setting where you can start uh, either charging or you can just plug in your battery and see the internal resistance on it. 
So we'll click this here and go in. Oh, of course, we don't have a battery plugged in, so it's not going to tell us what our uh, internal resistance is. But just so you guys know, you can go in and check the internal resistance on any battery that you have plugged in here, which is a very cool option uh, for the people that actually care about IRs. Uh, there's not too many of them out there. It's a very niche crowd, but uh, still a cool thing for high tech to offer in this little charger. Uh, next menu here. This is just a system setting menu. So uh, there's a beep tone that you can turn on or off when you click these buttons. I obviously have it turned off because you, you guys don't hear any beeps coming out of the charger. Uh, so we'll actually click onto this and see what other settings are in here. So you got a safety timer, uh, you can change that. Uh, you've got a capacity cutoff. So um, the maximum battery right now we can charge on here is a 5,000. I believe you can turn that up. I'm not sure what to. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll keep moving on from there. Uh, you got a nickel metal sensitivity. So this is what uh, voltage the nickel metal pack would be at. And then same with the NICAD. Uh, there's the beep in the buzzer. So the buzzer is like when the uh, charge is started or when the charge is off. I left that on so I know when the battery is actually done. And then the, keep, uh, the key beep, which I mentioned earlier that I turned off because it honestly annoys me a little bit. Uh, this is the load factory set, so I believe you can reset the settings in the charger that you've already programmed in if you want to reset those. Um, this just tells you what version the charger is, and then back to the safety timer. So we'll go back to where we are, we're at previously, and then battery memory. This is what I wanted to get into. Here we go. So click start enter on this side. So as you can see, I've already programmed a battery in here. So this is basically um, if you have six batteries and you want to charge them six different ways, when you plug that battery in, you can go in and select uh, battery memory one all the way up to, I believe it's 10. Let's see here, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep, so it's 10 different setting or 10 different battery uh, memories that you can program in here. So this is, uh, my battery that I programmed in here is a 2S LiPo and I wanted to charge it at 5 amps like you saw there. So you just go to this setting and start the charge and it'll remember what to charge it at and what type of battery it is, which is very cool, very convenient if you have a bunch of LiPos that you want to charge differently. And I believe that is the end of the different types of settings there. So I'm actually going to go grab a battery so I can show you what uh, this charger actually charges like. So I'll see you guys in probably half a second for you. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed a Venom battery with an XT90 lead so I could just plug it directly into the charger along with the balance lead plugged in right there. So now this is the battery that I actually set up in that one mode. So we're going to go back to that mode so we can uh, start that. So we'll go to battery memory and click on our memory one. So we're going to click and hold on there and we want to charge this one. We don't want to balance it. So we're going to swipe over there to charge and then we're going to hold. Hear our little tone go off and then confirm. And there we go. So this is what your charging menu looks like. So this guy over here is going to ramp up to five amps because that's what we had it set at. And then you have your little progressive charge bar right here. And then the one thing that I think is really cool is this percentage right here. So this is how much your battery is actually getting charged. So we're at 48% right now. So on a typical charger, it just tells you the voltage. And then you have to kind of go do the math of how much the charge is actually charged. So now you can go in and just look at this percentage and see how much it's charged right away. You don't have to do any thinking which is awesome for me because I hate thinking. I like stuff that's nice and easy. So you can go in here, look at that 50% charge. So this definitely needs some more charged and you can let it keep going for a while. And now the nice thing is you can charge two batteries at one time. So you can go over here and switch to this B menu and plug in another battery and get charging. Uh, you want to look at your other battery, click the switch button again, and then you can look at that menu with the battery being charged again. So I hope that buying guide or a little informational video helped you guys decide if the high-tech RDX2 mini charger is for you. A uh, lot of different settings compact into this little uh, red and black box of a charger. <laughs> Pretty uh, interesting settings that you can go through there 
very informational things that you're getting out of this charger. So if you guys want to know more information, you can click that link above or down below. It depends what channel you're watching on. And if you have any more questions or uh, just want to talk about the charger a little bit more, shoot me a comment, shoot me a message, let me know. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.